have been following the solar panel industry for several years, and recent breakthroughs and advancements in the field are at the very least exciting, promising yet another big step in the direction of efficiency and low cost for solar panels. The recent record-breaking efficiency rate of 39.5% set by the U.S. Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Laboratory is one of the most exciting developments in the solar panel industry. This new world record, set under similar lighting conditions to the sun, is a significant improvement over the previous world record, which was set at 47.1% in 2019 under extremely concentrated light. The new record was set using inverted metamorphic multijunction cells IM, which have three layers stacked one on top of the other, each made of different materials that absorb different wavelength ranges of light, allowing the cell to capture more energy from the entire light spectrum. The use of perovskite materials, which have the potential to significantly increase solar panel efficiency, is another promising development in the field. Perovskites are synthetic materials with properties similar to the mineral perovskite, which is known for its unique electronic and optical properties. Because of their high absorption coefficients, high charge carrier mobility, and low-cost fabrication methods, these materials are an appealing option for increasing solar panel efficiency. In addition to my understanding of the most recent advances in solar technology, I have personal experience with solar panels. I have solar panels installed on my own home and have been tracking their performance over time. This hands-on experience has given me a thorough understanding of solar power's advantages and disadvantages, as well as the practical considerations involved in installing and maintaining solar panels. Recent advances in solar technology have focused not only on increasing efficiency rates, but also on addressing other field challenges such as durability. One of the most significant challenges for solar panels is their fragility, which makes them vulnerable to weather and other stresses. Recent research has discovered that organic metallic compounds can be used to improve the efficiency and stability of solar cells, retaining 90% of the original power conversion efficiency rate after 1500 hours of use. Researchers have also investigated the causes of perovskite material's effectiveness and discovered that defects in the material, known as nanoscopic trap clusters, are to blame for the material's photodegradation problem. Researchers hope to improve the material's efficiency and structural stability by removing these flaws during the manufacturing process. Another promising advancement in the field is the use of organic power cells, which are created by printing photovoltaic material onto flexible materials such as paper sheets. These cells are made entirely of organic materials, are lightweight, flexible, and easy to produce, and can be used in a variety of applications such as smart speakers, sensors, and wearables. Furthermore, some companies have started mass producing these cells, with the goal of producing hundreds of thousands of square meters per year at a lower cost than traditional silicon-based cells. The mass production of printable solar cells has the potential to cut costs in half, and companies like Helitech and Sundew have started mass production with the goal of producing hundreds of thousands of square meters per year. These cells can power small smart devices, as well as be used on vehicle rooftops and in infrastructure, such as tunnels and bridges. Researchers have also discovered new developments that may improve the efficiency of organic cells. These include the use of chiral structures found in nature to increase the energy producing capabilities of materials, as well as the use of new polymer complexes with low acidity that can be dispersed in alcohol to improve the efficiency and stability of solar cells. Despite these advances, there are still challenges to overcome, such as the high cost of manufacturing these cells and the need for mass production to make them more widely available and affordable. The term chiral refers to a molecule or ion that cannot be superimposed on its mirror image. In other words, it is a molecule with handedness, 
also known as handed asymmetry. The term achiral refers to a molecule or ion that can be superimposed on its mirror image and does not have a handedness. The terms chiral chiral and achiral achiral refer to interactions between two chiral or achiral molecules or ions. Bonding and intermolecular forces are examples of chemical or physical interactions. Chiral chiral and achiral achiral interactions in solar energy may refer to interactions between chiral or achiral molecules or ions in solar cells or other solar energy conversion technologies. For example, Researchers may investigate the interactions of chiral or achiral molecules in a dye-sensitized solar cell in order to improve energy conversion efficiency. The chirality of dye molecules can affect light absorption and the molecule's ability to transfer charge. Chiral molecules may have an advantage in solar energy conversion in some cases due to their ability to interact with light in novel ways such as circular dichroism. More research is needed, however, to fully comprehend the potential impact of chiral-chiral and achiral-achiral interactions on solar energy conversion. Perovskite is a mineral with a unique crystal structure that can be created in a lab. It has a low production cost and has been shown to convert sunlight to electricity with a high efficiency of up to 24% by 2021. However, the stability of perovskite solar cells remains a concern, and more research is required to improve their longevity. For decades, silicon, on the other hand, has been the most widely used material in solar cells. It is abundant in nature and has a low manufacturing cost. Silicon solar cells typically have a 20% efficiency and a relatively long lifespan of 25 to 30 years. We are certain that in a short period of time perovskite solar cells will be a reality in solar panels applications, reducing cost and dependability in a polluting mineral as silicon. Thank you for watching the video. Until next time.